My name is Paul Grodd, and I was the Vice President of the Ukrainian Canadian Congress and the Chief Negotiator for the Ukrainian Canadian Congress's internment redress campaign. I learned about the internment operations when I was uh, a teenager. I was uh, actually at a Ukrainian youth camp. From that point, I started to get more and more curious about it. One of the more tragic parts of the history is what it did to the Ukrainian Canadian psyche, to self consciousness about who they were as a people. And many people deliberately tried to assimilate, change their names, stop speaking the language, stop going to Ukrainian churches because they were afraid of the xenophobia, of being the enemy aliens. And that had a, a tremendous psychological impact to that wave of Ukrainians. And that's something that many are still struggling with. Into the 90s, uh, I got involved with the Ukrainian Canadian Congress and started working with uh, Professor Lutsyuk and Andriy Hildashowski to see if we could actually rejuvenate this campaign. We mapped out a process and realized some of the key milestones that we needed to achieve, one of which was having the recognition of the First World War internment operations enshrined in legislation. And I'm really proud to have been part of Bill C-331, which is an act to acknowledge that persons of Ukrainian origin were interned in Canada during the First World War and to provide for recognition of this event. Member of Parliament Inky Mark sent me a, a nice little note that says, Paul, without your help, C-331 would not have happened. A true champion of the Ukrainian Canadian community. It's one thing to have recognition. The other is we needed to ensure that Canada was going to commit to educate and commemorate the First World War internment operations. And the Ukrainian Canadian community who really led this, this campaign uh, on behalf of the other affected communities never asked for the descendants of the internment to receive some sort of compensation. No, it was, it was a question about memory. It was a question about ensuring that uh, proper history was told and that the lessons from that history could help in the establishment of stronger Canadian values. And as a result, the government of Canada agreed to create a $10 million endowment in perpetuity. I think we will only be satisfied when every single Canadian knows about this history and knows about this history and can look at that history in the context of what's happening today and saying that when we have issues around the world, we're not gonna strike out against the people who are from that part of the world and living in Canada, that we should learn from the First World War internment operations. And it's through that history of the internment operations that we can teach Canadians today not to be xenophobic, to in fact embrace and understand others and not lash out against them.